everybody. My name is Eli. I'm Jason. I'm Caden. And I'm Jaden. And we are the Yahoo and the Tori YouTube channel. And we know your time is very important, so we will make this as quick and understandable as possible. And we thank you for joining us, and we are on the Lost Statues and Commands of our Creator. And we will get right to business because we are just trying to blow through these. Not in a studying, per se, type. We're just trying to get through them to study for commandments and once we find them we will study up on the commandments and get them written up in there and to this point we only have 14 we have not been able to find anything in uh these 40 late last few chapters so it's getting kind of dry as far as commandments go but we'll give it a run see what we can run into okay genesis 42 1 now when yaakov saw that there was grain in mitriam yaakov said to, unto his sons why do ye look one upon another and he said behold i have heard that there is grain in mitriam Get you down thither and buy from us for us from thence that we may live and not die. And Yosef's ten brethren went down to buy grain in Mitzrayim. But Benjamin, Yosef's brother, Yaakov sent not unto with his brethren, for he said, Lest perchance mischief befall him. And the sons of Yashrael came to buy grain among those who came, and for the famine was, was in the land of Canaan. And Yosef was the governor over the land. And he and he it was that sold to all the people of the land. And Yosef's brother, brethren came and bowed down themselves before him with their faces to the earth. Now, um, we'll break right there. This, this fulfills a dream he had. Does anyone want to give us a quick breakdown of what, what's going on? For anybody who has not caught us through, our creator built the Shemaim on day one. He is taking it. And we are learning about the lineage of his people. We've gone from Adam to who to where? So we've gone from Adam or Adam, and then he sinned and got kicked out of the garden. We had Cain and Abel, and Cain slew Abel. They had Seth. They had all his generations of righteousness, and then there was Cain's generations of sin. And then the Nephilim came down, and then we had Noah, and then we had Abraham through many generations. And then we had... Isaac or Yitzchak, then we had Jacob or Yaakov, and he has his 12 sons, and his 12 sons threw Joseph away and sold him because they were jealous of him. And he had a dream that said, uh, there were a bunch of sheaves that bowed down to me, your guys' sheaves will bow down to me, basically saying that they will bow down to him one day, and here we are. Yeah, so Yosef was a basically one of the babies of the family, just the second to the youngest that we know of. And um, his father babied him, and his brothers knew it, and they weren't very happy about it. Um, but this was their dream, he had the dream, and this is one of the dreams that made them very angry. And um, they, they won't want, this was one of the reasons he got tossed down the well. So verse 7, And Yosef saw his brother, and he knew them, but made himself strange unto them, and spoke roughly unto them. And he said unto them, Whence come ye? And they said, From the land of Canaan to buy food. And Yosef knew his brethren, but they knew not him. And Yosef remembered the dreams which he dreamed of them, and said unto them, Ye are spies, to see the nakedness of the land, ye are, ye are come. And they said unto him, Nay, my Adonai, but to buy food are your servants come. We are all one man's sons, we are true men, your servants are no spies. And he said unto them, Nay, but to see the nakedness of the land, ye are come. And they said, Your servants are twelve brethren, the sons of one man in the land of Canaan, and behold, the youngest in this day with our father, and one is not. And Yosef said unto them, That is it, that is it, that I spoke unto you, saying, Ye are spies. Hereby ye shall be proved by the life of Pharaoh. Ye shall not go forth hence, except your youngest brother come hither. Send one of you, and let him fetch your brother, and ye shall be kept in prison, that your words may be proved whether there be any truth in you or else by the life of Pharaoh, surely ye are spies. And he put them all together into ward three days. And Yosef said unto them the third day, this do and live for I fear Elohim. If ye be true men, let one of your brethren be bound in the house of your prison. Go ye, carry grain for the famine of your houses, but bring your youngest brother unto me. So shall your words be verified and ye shall not die. And they did so. And they said one to another, We are truly guilty concerning our brother, and that we saw the anguish of his soul when, we, when he besought us, and we would not hear. Therefore, in this distress come on this is therefore is this distress come unto upon us. So um, in the book of Joshua, there's a lot of extra, there's tons of extra stuff. Like this is a, a very big part of this, and it talks about a lot of this. 
Um, and the, the sons of um, Yaakov um, are, are superheroes. They have a superhero um, set up to this. And during this time, when he is testing them, when Yosef is testing them, um, like crazy things happen. Um, one, one such incident is um, the, I think it was Simeon, that they, they either Yehuda or Simeon, they were grabbed by um, some of the guards of Yosef and they screamed and um, it made some of the women of, of Mitzrayim, of Egypt, miscarry. And so all of a sudden there was just incredible drama in the land and this wasn't just a little, these guys came in and this was a, this was a huge event. This was life-changing events that um, completely shook uh, Egypt as well as um, all of these guys. They went in different gates. All right. They said they were spies. Right. And so one of the reasons, Nicole, thank you, um, that they were talking about him being spies is when, and the whole reason the spies thing went in is their dad told them not to go in the main gate, not to go all together at the main thing, or they would get busted, or like if one of them got taken at one gate, then the rest of them could live and bring back food and very and things of that nature. So they all checked in at various gates, and Yosef had figured this out, and he had they had um like a, a guy collecting all of the information on all of them and who who they were, and so he saw them come in from various gates, and so he accused them of, of being spies, and so. They were actually trying to find him. Right, and that, again, thank you, Nicole. You should really join this table. It would be great. Um, what she was saying here is, is also in Jasher is that they were um, they were looking for him. So prior to them actually going to looking for food, they were going to whorehouses and, like, um, brothels and things of that nature because they what they thought they would have, you know, um, sold him into, like, a some that kind of a, a slavery or something of the sort. So, yeah, there's, there's so much more to the story than, than what it, we have here. Okay, um, there we go. And tw verse 22, and Reuben answered, and I'm fighting the dogs, and Reuben answered them, saying, Spoke I not unto you, saying, Do not sin against a child, and ye would not hear. Therefore, behold, also his blood is required. And they knew not that Yosef understood them, for he spoke unto them by an interpreter. So, you know, those are more things that are very interesting, right? So he... Um, Yosef actually knew like 70 different languages. He was when he wouldn't be doing what he was doing unless he understood every language that they were in for commerce. And so um, also that's another story in Jasher that you hear is, is when the angel teaches uh, Yosef how to speak like in a whole bunch of different languages. And so lots of stuff. All right. Verse 24. And he turned himself about from them and wept and returned to them again and, and communed with them and took from them Simeon. And bound him before their eyes. Then Yosef commanded to fill their sacks with grain, and to restore every man's money into his sack, and to give them provision for the way, and thus did he unto them. And they laded their asses with the grain, and departed thence. And as one of them opened his sack to give his ass provender in the inn, he espied his money, for behold, it was in his sack's mouth. And he said unto his brother, My money is restored, and lo, it is even in my sack. And their heart failed them, and they were afraid, saying one to another, What is this that Elohim has done unto us? And they came into El Yaakov, their father, unto the land of Canaan, and told him all that befell unto them, saying, The man who is the Adonai of the land spoke roughly to us, and took us for spies of the country. And he said, and we said unto him, We are true men. We are not no spies. We be twelve brethren, sons of our father. One is not and the youngest is this day with our father in the land of Canaan. And the man, the Adonai of the country, said unto us, Hereby shall I know that ye are true men. Leave one of your brethren here with me, and take food for the famine of your households, and be gone. And bring the, your youngest brother unto me. Then shall I know that ye are no spies, but that ye are true men. So I, will I deliver you, your brother, and ye shall traffic in the land. And it came to pass as they emptied their sacks that behold, every man's bundle of money was in his sack. And when both they and their father saw the bundles of money, they were afraid. And Yaakov, their father, said unto them, Me have ye bereaved of my children. Yosef is not, and Shimeon is not, and ye will take Binyamin away. All these things are against me. And Reuben spoke unto his father, saying, Slay my two sons. If I bring him not to you, deliver him into my hand, and I will bring him to you again. And he said, 
My son shall not go down with you, for his brother is dead and he is left alone. If mischief befall him by the way in the which ye go, then shall ye bring down my gray hairs with sorrow to Sheol. And uh, sorry for the dogs barking there. So we are talking a lot of time here. We're not talking like days. We are talking uh, it's years. It's possible a few years. Yeah. yeah, years. So when we go into 43.1, um, Shimeon was there in jail for... Uh, I think it was three years, wasn't it? He, he was, was It was either two or three. We have a couple of us that we don't, we don't quite remember. But uh, it was a long time. So if this wasn't just a quick turnaround, go rope up the, the donkeys again and run them out. This is a, they did not want to go back because this was probably a very scary situation. Because these were um, warriors. These were warriors of that kind of sort. These were killers. Every one of the, um, the children of Yaakov uh, were murderers, right? I mean, I don't know what other way to say it. Um, I mean, they killed aggressively and they killed entire cities and towns and animals. Um, these guys probably spilt more blood than any family anywhere in the world, minus the Rothschilds and Gates and the rest of these people. But I won't even go there. <laughs> uh, anyway, sorry about that. Yeah, no, he, uh, this, this little family, they, they went mad. And I mean, this is like one family you do not want to mess with. Yeah. <laughs> this is definitely one family. All right, so let's roll on. Um, we are in this 11 minutes. Okay, 43-1 and the famine was sore in the land, and it came to pass when they had eaten up the grain, which they had brought out of Mitzram, their father said unto them, Go again, buy us a little food. And again, this was like, uh, this was probably the cookie jars were empty, like the shelves were empty, probably blowing dust off of uh, where there used to be flour or something of the sort. It's bad times. Okay, uh, verse 3, And Yahudah spoke unto him, saying, The man did solemnly protest unto, unto us, saying, Ye shall not see my face, except your brother be with you. If you will send our brother with us, we will go down and buy you food. But if you will not send him, we will not go down. For the man said unto us, Ye shall not see my face, except your brother be with you. So again, this is, um, this is like the little brother that has all of a sudden became the ruler. You know, that's what the dreams were all about. And um, I'm sure Yosef didn't figure this out. He didn't have any idea that this was what it would be. But again, this is the weakest, some, well, kind of the weakest of the brothers. And, and the rest of the brothers are very scared of this guy. Like they will not, they're defying their dad when he says, go buy me food. I'm sure he's doing everything possible. Sorry, guys, that was a bot. Um, he was doing everything possible not to go down there and, and not to do any of that. So, um, let's see. So, but if you will send him, you shall not see my face. Six. And Yashrael said, Wherefore dealt ye so ill with me as to tell the man whether ye had yet a brother? And they said, The man asked us straightly of our state and of our kindred, saying, Is your father yet alive? Have ye another brother? And we told him according to the tenor of these words. Could we certainly know that he would say, bring your brother down? And Yahudah said unto Yah Yashrael, his father, send the lad with me and we will arise and go that we may live and not die, both we and you and also our little ones. And I said El Yaakov as earlier, said Yashrael. So we have Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And in Hebrew, what are they? Uh, Abra, it's like Avram, Avram, Abraham, Abraham, and then we have uh, Yitzhak and Yaakov or yeah. Yashrael. Yashrael, and so when I when when we're saying, why do we say Yashrael? Because that's his name. But what's what was it prior? It was Yaakov. Yaakov, yeah. he got blessed, and he said, "Your name's no longer Yaakov, but right. Yashrael." Okay, so um, and Yahuda said unto El Yashrael, his father, send the lad with me, will rise and nine. go. Nine, I will be surety for him of my hand, shall you require him. If I bring him not unto you and set him before you, l then let me bear the blame forever. So we already had first two sureties because the first one, it was Reuben. A, Reuben offered up his two kids, slay my kids. The kids are probably like, oh, thanks, pops. You know, yeah, man, why am I a sacrifice? <laughs> appreciate that. Okay, and then we have... Um, Yahuda, who basically says he's surety for him. 
I'm sure you ain't gonna die if you're with uh, Yehuda. Yeah, Yehuda's a warrior. He's he's a killer. He's a killing machine. Verse ten. Uh, For except we had lingered, surely now we had returned the second time. And yes, three years later, two years later. And their father Yashrael said unto them, If it must be so now, do this: take of the best fruits in the land of your in your vessels, and carry down the man a present, a little balm, and a little honey, spices and myrrh, nuts, and almonds, and take double money in your hand, and the money that was brought again in the mouth of your sacks, carry it again in your hand, perchance it was an oversight. Take also your brother, and arise, go again unto the man. And El Shaddai give you mercy before the man, that he may send away your other brother, and Benjamin, if I be bereaved of my children, I am bereaved. And the men took that present, and they took double money in their hand, and Benjamin, and rose up, and went down to Mitzram, and stood before Yosef. And Yosef saw Benjamin with them. He said to the ruler of the house, of his house, Bring these men home and slay and make ready, for these men shall dine with me at noon. And the man did as Joseph bade. And the man brought the men into Yosef's house. And the men were afraid because they were brought into Yosef's house. And they said, Because of the money that was returned in our sacks at the first time are we brought in, that he may seek occasion against us and fall upon us and take us for bondsmen and our asses. And they came near to the steward of Yosef's house, and they communed with him at the door of the house, and said, O sir, we came indeed down at the first time to buy food. And it came to pass when we came to the inn, that we opened our sacks, and behold, every man's money was in the mouth of his sack, our money in full weight, and we have brought it again in our hand. And other money have we brought down in our hands to buy food. We cannot tell who put our money in our sacks. And he said, said, Peace be to you. Fear not, your Elohim and the Elohim of your father has given you treasure in your sacks. I had your money, and he brought Shimeon out unto him. And the man brought the men into Yosef's house, and gave them water, and they washed their feet, and he gave their asses provender. And they made ready the present against Yosef, and they, that didn't sound right, and they made ready the present against Yosef came at noon, for they heard that they should eat bread there. What's your guys' say on the 25? And they made the present ready for Yosef's coming at noon, for they heard that they were to eat there. Okay. So verse 26, And when Yosef came home, they brought him the present, which was in their hand, into the house, and bowed themselves to him in the earth. And he asked them of their welfare, and said, Is your father well, the old man of whom ye spoke? Is he yet alive? And they answered, Your servant, our father, is in good health. He is yet alive. And they bowed down their heads and made obeisance. And again, that's his dream being fulfilled. And he lifted up his eyes and saw his brother Benjamin, his mother's son, and said, Is this your younger brother of whom ye spoke unto me? And he said, Elohim, be gracious unto you, my son. And Yosef made haste, for his heart did yearn upon his brother, and he sought where to weep, and he entered into his chamber and wept there. And he washed his face and went out and refrained himself and said, Set on bread. And they set on for him by himself and for them by themselves and for Mitzrayim which did eat with him by themselves, because the Mitzrayim might not eat bread with the Evrim, for that is an abomination unto Mitzrayim. And they sat before him, the firstborn according to his birthright, and the youngest according to his youth. And the men marveled one at another. And he took and sent messes unto them from before him. But Benjamin's mess was five times so much as any of theirs. And they drank and were merry with him. So, um... Let's break this down real quick, and let's let's end this here. But uh, we have uh, to make a quick night of this. Um, we have what happened right here. So, so they bought food. They they weren't allowed to come back until they bought their brother. So they brought their brother back, and Yosef basically asked him about his father. He asked him about the stuff, and he says, "Don't worry, I give you guys your money. It's all right. He says, We're gonna eat." He's setting them up, and. Uh, then he meets Joseph, and he's very, he's like, he's like emotional, right? He hasn't seen him in like 30 years. It's Benjamin. Been, Benjamin, right. He sees his youngest yeah, brother. Benjamin. And he, and he gets emotional because he hasn't seen him in so many years, right? He's all changed. He's grown up. He was just like a little kid when he saw him last. And that was his brother, that was his mother's that was son. His, that was his full, full, brother. Full, brother. full brother. And so, yeah, all the other brothers were half like, brothers. were like half brothers from the other mothers of this tribe. Okay, so um, do we have any commandments? Anyone have anything out there? No, nothing. Okay, so yeah, we have nothing out there. Um, that has been a long week for us. We we're just trying to dig in one last uh, little thing here, and then I don't know if we'll be doing one before Shabbat. If we don't do one before Shabbat, Shabbat Shalom to everybody out there. Hope you guys are keeping the seventh day, which is a commandment to keep, which we will get into Exodus and the various places of that. 
Okay, everybody. Uh, much love to everybody out there. Do you guys have anything else? Uh, read your Bibles, and uh, if you're enjoying, please follow along. Yeah, if you're enjoying, please follow along. Please read as we're reading. Um, read with us or read a different version of it, you know, but whatever it is, um, we're supposed to be dialing this into our hearts, minds, and souls, and it's supposed to be part of our lives. So much love to everybody. All right. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.